What's up guys, we're at Art Market Hamptons and behind me may be one of the most expensive paintings at this entire exhibit. Today I'm talking to the owner of this gallery called Contessa. Uh, his name is Steve Hartman, the man with heart. Steve, what a pleasure to uh, chat with you. Great to talk with you, Lulu. Tell us, first of all, where are you guys based and uh, the artist Mr. Brainwash himself? Perfect. Well, we're from Cleveland, Ohio, Palm Beach, and soon to be Dubai. And the artist, Mr. Brainwash, grew up in France, but lives in America. Wee oui, wee oui, baguette. Wee <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, tell me more, please. Well, so Mr. Brainwash has done something that no one had thought about in art history. The whole history of the street art movement started out in the trains in New York with Warhol, Basquiat, Herring and he decided to fabricate his own subway so that people could live with how street art was meant to be seen originally. So in this piece, he's incorporated all the first generation and second generation pop artists and street artists. And just for fun, if you look on the back of the train, you have the Mona Lisa riding the back of the train, incorporating all of the history of art. So when it comes to the inspiration for Mr. Brainwash, um, do you think it's mainly French or it's mixed with other cultural influences? I think it's more social consumerism and just everything that we experience from television, the media, what we grow up with in the way of products, celebrities, cartoons. So it's very happy and it incorporates so much of history in general and consumerism. How many years have you been working with Mr. Brainwash? We've been working together for eight years, and we gave him his first solo show at a major art fair at Art Miami, which made the cover of the Miami Herald and multiple television stations. And we've been working together ever since. That's amazing. I interned for Miami Herald actually my first year of uh, college at U Miami. Wow. Yeah, that's a. I, the guy we didn't even know about this. So um, I want to know um, why is he called Mr. Brainwash? That's kind of like his pseudonym for art, just like Mark Twain and oh. Charles Dickens. And Has his prices always been sitting on the price of a house in middle range America? Or was it like starting, was in the beginning, like eight years ago, it was like 40K? Yeah, it yeah. has definitely evolved okay. and we're still very early in the growth of his market over time. So just like Banksy and... Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and other artists might have started at one level. As an artist continues to grow and evolve and his market grows, the prices go up over time. So now as a blue chip artist, we're very excited because we feel even a piece at this level is fractional compared to where it will be in the future. Oh, so it's kind of like uh, gold or minerals, we think it will increase the value. Right. We only buy art, things that we love and has resonance and meaning to us, you know, on a visual, a aesthetic, a spiritual, color, you know, things that make you alive, things that make, you know, have meaning to you and get you all jazzed up. As the owner and curator, I would like to know, when you work with an artist, what criteria do you have to, like, make sure that they meet so that you take them home? I'm looking for an artist that is an innovator and has a signature style that you can easily look at and identify. This is a Picasso, this is a Warhol, that's a Mr. Brainwash. So you have to have a series of iconography that are recognizable. You have to have some technical merit and craftsmanship. And you have to, you know, excite people on multiple levels. Beyond just a visual, we want things that kind of stir up something inside of someone that, you know, get you going physiologically, emotionally, okay. spiritually something that you would be proud to kind of share with your family, guests of your home, and future generations, that this is something that meant something to me. So you're kind of leaving a legacy of what you valued and what your personality was in your life, what has meaning to you. I would like to know, before we uh, say goodbye to our audience, um, how long do you think it'll take to sell this painting? Well, since you just told me that you would like to have it, I would think about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, if you're watching this, a comment below how much do you think this painting is? 
and uh, I will leave all the information of Mr. Steve Harmon and his gallery Contessa uh, down below. Uh, thank you very much to to Marcelli. Marcelli for filming this and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks everyone. Thank you Lulu.